Guys, we got a 2018 Accord. We're gonna change air filter for the engine and a cabin filter. And so if you could do this your job yourself, you should be able to save like 80 bucks. So anyway, we got a Wix air filter. There's a part number on this baby. And then we got PTC air fil uh, cabin filter and there's a part number. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna remove these and we're gonna lift up the hood. My friend is here gonna help me. Go ahead, lift up the hood. And we're gonna put up the stand here. The stand goes right there. And what we're going to do, this is where your engine filter is. You want to be careful, okay? Be careful. Turn your engine off, the key off. Everything got to be off. You see the Honda dealer. This guy was at the Honda dealer, so this clip is uh, already out. And um, we're not going to go by that clip. What I want to do is just to be safe, just pull this sensor connector off. Your check engine light should not come on long as you have your key off. And you're going to squeeze that tab and just pull off this sensor and disconnect. Remove this uh, connector from right there, push this aside, so you're on the, on the safe side now. You're gonna pop this clip, you're gonna pop this clip, okay? That's all you need to do after that. Your whole housing here is gonna come out this way. There's, uh, there's like a little hooks on this side. You see these little hooks? This and that goes on to the holes right in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, my friend is gonna come around and help me. We're gonna get, he's gonna take out that filter right there out of the box. But pay attention to this filter. You should change this every 10 to 15,000 miles. 15,000 miles is the best. So you see this little notch? It was sitting right here. So we're gonna put the notch on the same direction. And if you got leaves and stuff in there, just vacuum this or just clean it up as much as you can. You don't want any dirt going this way onto the MAF air slow sensor, which is right there. Any dirt debris gets there, you're gonna have issues. Anyways. We're gonna take this filter, same way. You see this little notch, same way. It sits just like that. And the filter just drops right in. And after that, you're gonna take this little guy and you're gonna stick the little notches in there. Push this baby down, clip on. And this little guy, you gotta be clipped on as well. Okay. There you go. So they're both gone. Don't not forget to put this guy on because as soon as you turn the key, your car might not start. And uh, it might start, but you're going to have a check engine light. Make sure this clicks in. Make sure that little tap goes right into the housing. Bada bing, bada boom. In five minutes, under five minutes, we change this air filter. Time for us to go inside and change the cabin filter. Time for us to go inside the vehicle. Right here on the passenger side, behind the glove box. We're going to have our cabin filter in here. So already pre-took everything out of the glove box. So make sure your glove box is empty. Um, okay, this doesn't have any plungers here. So pretty much, we're gonna squeeze this. We're gonna squeeze that, both sides, with the both hands do it at the same time. Should be easier if you do it at the same time. This will come down. And right in there, you got your cabin filter housing cover. So squeeze both tabs. So all I did was squeeze this notch and this notch and the cover came out. Look at that airflow sign. And we got our new filter here. It got the airflow sign. So simply there's no train or nothing. This guy, again, every 10, 15, 20 max, thousand miles, swap these filters. A lot of people do it seasonally. Anyways, the airflow, does it have a symbol? It doesn't have a symbol, but we're gonna go by the symbol on this. So you take this filter, okay? Notice the edges, the hard edges. Okay, I'm trying to get my light in there. And I'm just trying to figure out where the filter's gonna sit. Okay, the hard edges, side to side. And push this filter in, and it's gonna lift up and go to its slot. Very simple. You take your cover, you put the cover on and the cover should simply click on. Bada bing, bada boom. You take your glove box and you lift it up. That's it. If you got any plunger here, all you have to do is pull, pull it off. There's supposed to be something here. I guess I don't know why nothing is there. So something is either missing or this vehicle is maybe a base model. I don't know how that works, but I've never seen that not be there because they do have the little slot. So that thing you just push and it comes right off, it's like a little hook. And if that hook is there, the glove box shouldn't drop like that. Anyway, thank you for watching.